your header in Profoto displays above the content and the optional bio area. It consists of your logo, your masthead, and your primary and secondary navigation menus. Each of the header elements have their own specific customization area. But before you customize each area individually, you'll need to decide how you want them positioned inside the header with respect to each other. To do this, go to Profoto, Customize, Header Area, Layout and Appearance. Here, you can see a visual representation of your current header selections and make changes to how they're positioned. The first step is to decide what elements you want to include. Unchecking a box will remove a specific element from the preview, and checking a box will add it. What you see in the preview will apply only after you save changes. After a header element is removed, when you go to its customization area, you'll see a message that indicates that it has indeed been deactivated. For example, if I uncheck the secondary nav box, this is the message I see in the secondary nav customization area. In our first example, we want to use every element, so we'll check every box. After selecting your header elements, step two is to put them in your desired display order. You can drag and drop them in different orders via the handles on the left of each element. Now the bio and content areas that you see here are not draggable. They are only visible in the preview for reference. Once your header pieces are in the order you want, save your changes to see that order applied to your site. Here is what our chosen order looks like. The logo and primary nav have some additional display options. The primary nav can be set to stay fixed to the top of the browser window when scrolling. And here's what that effect looks like. It can even expand to the full width of the window when it reaches the top, which looks like this. Because touch devices don't always deal well with fixed elements, we offer the option here to unstick the menu on touch devices. The logo can be on its own line, which is the default setting, or it can share space with the masthead. If on its own line, you can choose a center, left, or right alignment. If on the same line as the masthead, your first options are to have it to the left or to the right side. When the logo is to the left or the right of the masthead, not only will the width of your masthead decrease, but the logo will set the height of the masthead. So if you already had masthead images uploaded and you make this change, you will probably need to re-upload masthead images to fit the new size recommended in the masthead customization area. Another way to display your logo is to have it overlay the masthead. Now this is similar to having it on the same line, except that you have infinite positioning options and the logo does not set the height of the masthead. Choosing this option opens an entirely new editing area below. Here, you can position your logo on top of your masthead in any conceivable location. Here is what an overlaid logo looks like. When the logo is sharing the same line with or overlaying the masthead, both elements will move together when repositioning in the preview pane. The final logo option is to display it in a menu or widget area. Checking this option will remove it from the header layout preview. And after you save changes, this will enable two new options on your site. First, in Appearance Widgets, you'll have a new logo widget available. And you can use this widget to display your logo in any widget area. Here's an example of that setup. The second new option that will be enabled is an additional special menu link type. When creating a primary or secondary menu item, select special link type and logo image to add your logo to any menu. Generally, your logo image is taller than your other menu items, so it will set a new height for your menu. I'm going to horizontally center my logo in the menu by choosing this split alignment option 
and then checking the box to center the logo between the split items. I want my other menu items to be vertically centered in the now taller menu, so I'm going to scroll down and choose that vertical alignment option. And here's the result. After finalizing your header element positioning, you can customize each area in their specific option areas. For example, after deciding on the location of the primary nav menu, you're going to want to set up all your menu items, plus give them spacing and styling in Pro Photo, Customize, Menus, Primary Navigation Menu. And after placing the masthead where you want it, you would go to Pro Photo, Customize, Header Area, Masthead Image and Slideshow, where you would actually upload masthead images and make your settings for how the slideshow runs.